everyone, my name is Shelly Lawson, and for today's subject, uh, or topic of discussion, um, I was recently watching the latest Vlogbrothers video, and it, and John talked about how, um, Bill Gates is encouraging people to make videos about what it means to be human, and this is yeah, a heavy topic because there is just so much about humans that this is just such a broad spectrum of possibilities of topics. And there's actually a contest, I will try to post a link to that in the description, but uh, what I wanted to talk to you about is, uh, are these things that I came up with that just resonated to me. And, um, the thing is, being human, as opposed to being an animal, being human allows us to use our minds and our opposable thumbs, which very few species have, to create and uh, imagine things that will benefit not only ourselves, but potentially every human on Earth. Uh, and I know, you know, humans, one of the other things about humans is that you know we have the capacity to realize that we are imperfect and this was mentioned several times i mean this has been uh quoted again and again you know to air is human and i find it very interesting a few of the different uh versions of this uh phrase, I guess. Um, it was originally Alexander Pope that said, to err is human, to forgive divine. So the fact that we have the capacity to forgive, I honestly, I don't see that happening in, you know, the, the animal kingdom or whatever you call it, um, and, uh, Ben Franklin himself, uh, quoted this same guy, but he changed it to say, to err is human, to repent divine, to persist devilish, and if you really, this is such a profound thing, because most people find it very, very hard to repent for things that they've done and it just haunts them and haunts them, but, in, but on the same token, you know, to flip the coin, you're talking to persist in that activity or that thing that you did for which you need to repent, if you don't, and if you persist in this thing, that is devilish, and, uh, you know, that could be said to be devilish, and it's just interesting how different people put it, because, again, uh, another man named Frank Franklin P. Adams, uh, said, to err is human, to forgive infrequent. And this really, really, it just is eye-opening to, and it's so true about the plight of humans is that we do not, we like to hold on to the, the things that have hurt us 
that people have done to hurt us. And the problem with that is that it's not hurting that. You're not doing anything to that person. What, who you're hurting is yourself. And so it, it's just, I don't know why, but like forgiving people is not something that humans particularly uh, have a knack for or whatever you want to call it. Um, but, you know, on the other hand, you know, like I said, we recognize our own um, imperfections um, and, okay, um, my, my next thing, uh, is how animals rely mostly on instinct, but a lot of the behaviors that we have as humans, yes, we have some that are instinctive, but for the most part, everything we have Everything we have learned is learned. Everything we need uh, to do for, you know, to function as a human being, we have to learn. Uh, and that's why we have parents, and that's why we have teachers. That's why we send our children to school, even though they, you know, hate it. <laughs> um, but also... Um, the thing about humans is we like to think of ourselves as superior to animals, but, and, and I'm going to say that, um, we are created just by these things alone, um, that's where my notes are, it's right there. Just by these things alone, yes, we are somewhat superior to animals in that, uh, in that we just, we can do these things with our mind and our minds are so complex, but if you look into you know, science, scientific, um, inventions and all of these things, you will find that usually the scientist is going off of something found in nature. An animal, you know, a tree even, um, I did not look up any examples, but I... I know that there are some because I've read about them. There's, um, like, the camera lens, for instance, is based on eyes, you know? It's like, just these scientific things all come down to what is found in nature and Humans are a part of that. Uh, humans can glean things from nature and make them into things that revolutionize our lives and make our lives easier most of the time. And uh, so that is what I think of when I hear this topic. And being human, basically to sum up, we are all imperfect, but we are learning and we continue to learn and um, we do not discredit animals for the most part because they are an inspiration for so many things that we have created and we have 
just, and you know, it's like, you can't go without enjoying something, anything in nature, flowers, the sky, I love, I personally love sunsets, and I love to watch it outside this window right here, this office window of mine, every night, and, well, every night that I'm home, uh, as I am doing my job, you know, writing and such, um, and just, Just nature and humans are linked in this way that is indescribable. Uh, and that's where I am going to leave this video because I can't think of anything else to say. Bye!